Today, as I record this, is Ash Wednesday 2021. The beginning of Lent. A time that many denominations will observe at this period of what's perceived as 40 days leading up to Easter. A time that is seen to try and reflect the 40 days that our Lord Jesus spent in the desert in his time of testing and trial with Satan just after his baptism. It is a time that most people either fast from certain food groups or decide to fast from a meal or fast from their fasting obviously not doing something uh, giving up maybe watching TV for this period of time and therefore then adding um, extra Bible reading or prayer or some kind of service if uh, they are able to clearly during this lockdown rather difficult it's at this time though I, I want to reflect on a sort of a different kind of fast um, that it would be useful just to sort of think, acknowledge and think on. Somebody else took a moment of giving up something that I think sometimes we might miss in our reflections. Let me read to you from uh, Philippians 2, uh, verses 5 to 8. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God... He did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself to obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. We are sort of reflecting over the next 40 days, if you wish to, um, leading up to that moment of Easter where we reflect on our Lord Jesus' death on the cross and then three days later, his resurrection to life. But I want to really pick up that fact in verse 7. It said, instead, he gave up his divine privileges. But a Trinitarian theology. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Ever reflect where it says in John 3.16 that God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son. So much more than that, because God the Son, when he agreed to God the Father's will to be sent to become human, it was at that moment of decision, and we only think in linear terms, but it was at that moment of decision that God the Son, who then became the Son of God, Jesus Christ, in human form, he fasted from something. Or can I at the very least say that he gave up something. He gave up his divine privileges. What he gave up was his all knowledge, all power, all presence. Just three things to name. He gave up being all powerful as part of the Godhood. He gave up being all knowing as part of the Godhead. He gave up all presence as being part of the Godhead. In his decision to follow the Father's will to come to earth, to become a baby, become a little infant. He fasted from his, yeah, his godness. Yes, he was by nature divine and also human, but he gave up the divine privileges of all that authority and power and godness, for want of a better phrasing, in that moment. We know that because, for instance, in Matthew 24, verse 36, when uh, his disciples are asking Jesus, you know, when, when basically are you coming back, uh, effectively, when are all things going to happen? And he turns around and says, no one knows about the day or the hour, not even the angels in heaven, not the Son, but only the Father. So even he, as Jesus, did not know everything all of the time. So he'd given up his 
privilege. He so loved us, so loved you, so loved me, that he was willing to give up, to fast from his all power, all presence, all knowledge. And to live with us and amongst us, to be one of us, to be with his own creation, to be looked after by his own creation when he was a baby, so that eventually he could die for our sins and give us eternal life. Now a bit of a mind blow when you think that the Lord so loved you that he was willing to give up all of that and come to earth. And we're leading up to this moment of Easter and we focus on the fact that he gave up and died on the cross as a human being. And he did that. But I feel we should also be reflecting that the moment be happened 33 years before then, if you go with the fact that it was probably 33 when our Lord Jesus died on that cross, that 30 years ago before then, in our concept of time, he gave up his divine privileges. He sacrificed that before he even sacrificed himself on the cross. Personally, mind blower. Absolute mind blower. When, uh, and then people will say, ah, oh, but pastor, uh, Jesus operated in miracles and did all these miracles of healing and, and etc, etc. And, and clearly he did that as God with his, his divine powers. No, he did not. Because there is no recorded miracles of our Lord Jesus Christ until after his baptism in the water, after he'd returned back from the desert. It is in the anointing of the Holy Spirit, yes, God the Holy Spirit, but it's in the anointing of the Holy Spirit to which our Lord Jesus Christ operated those miracles, those healings, uh, raising people from the dead. It was in that, in the anointing of the Holy Spirit, which is open to all of us who are baptised believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. We have received the Holy Spirit. We also can operate, as our Lord Jesus said, as he says in John, you will do even more miracles than I. Not because we're gods and not because he was God by nature, but because we're all uh, baptised and anointed in the Holy Spirit. So he operated on this earth as a human, having given up all his omnipresence, all his omnipower, uh, um, all his omni-knowledge, gave it all up so that you and I can be redeemed so that you and I can live a life fully uh, uh, in the authority, fully in the knowledge, fully as God intended us to be, empowered by the Holy Spirit. So really this Lent time might be a time you want to reflect in preparation for Easter. I'd like you to reflect that Lord Jesus gave up so much more prior to Easter when he gave up all of that because he loved you. Because he loved you. God bless to you. Bye-bye.